Hi, welcome to the Piano Podcast. I'm your host, Mario O'Hara, and I have a special guest with me as far as uh, this ongoing series in piano pedagogy with my piano pedagogy class, and her name is Kelly Carsons. Kelly, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Uh, Kelly is going to be sharing a podcast episode with you today in with the 12 Bars Blues, is that correct? Yes, um, I'm going to introduce a simple 12 bar blues chord progression that can be taught to um, an elementary level student and I'm doing this to complement what a student's already learning and showing them how to improvise and also introducing some um, jazz rhythms and blues chords. Great, and we're going to see that uh, coming up right now. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Hi, I'm Kelly Carstens and my podcast focuses on a 12 bar blue chord progression. In my experience teaching, um, one thing that I think is wonderful to present to students of an elementary level is improvisation. And, to, and I think a 12 bar blues chord progression is an easy way to do that. And to help me demonstrate how to do this today is my friend, classmate, and fellow teacher, India Aquino. Hi. And we are just going to have a quick lesson on how to teach um, a student a 12 bar blues progression. And to do this, um, a student needs to have a basic understanding of seventh chords and how to invert them. And um, if they know that, they can easily um, learn how to make the rhythms jazzy and um, improvise a melody on top of that. So, here we go. Okay, let's do it. Okay. All right, um, our progression is gonna be based around the key of C major, and we're going to be using three chords, the three major chords in um, the key, the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. So we're gonna have C, F, and G but we are gonna make these seventh chords. So why don't, just with your right hand, why don't you just play C, F, and G. Okay. And then play the F. Oh, the four chord, F. Oh. <laughs> and then G. All right, now go back and add the seventh on it. These need to be major or minor seventh chords. Um, major minor seventh? Yes, major minor seventh. Or... So C's gonna have the B flat on the top, correct, and F will have E flat, and the G major chord will have F natural. Right. So let's play them in rhythm. I'm going to count you off. There's going to be four beats in a measure. So one, two, three, four. And that's what our chord progression is going to be centered around. Now, to, um, to take this a little step further, let's put the tonic in the left hand. Okay. So don't, um, yeah, you go ahead and use it with your fifth finger. and. Don't play the um, tonic in the right hand, just leave it out. Okay. So play the E, the G, and the B flats in the C chord, and the C in your left hand. Okay? okay so. so we'll count it off. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. All right. Now take a step further. Put the seventh on the C chord. If take out the C, put the seventh as the root of the chord, the bass note of the chord. Okay. Okay? So the tonic is still in the left hand, and um, we're inverting the chord in the right hand so that the seventh is the bass note. All right? Okay. So let's just try this again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great. And that's, okay, we're going to start out with that. Let's run the chord progression with that. So I have a um, chord sheet up here for India to follow. And making a 12 bar blues chord progression, you can put these three chords in any order possible. Um, you can mix it up any way you want to. I've written out a simple one for her to follow. So she's just gonna play what I put together. So you ready? Catch you off. One, two, three, four. So now we're going to do the improvising parts. Okay. So you can do that in two ways. You can jazz the rhythm up a little bit, and you can also add to the bass to um, help that make just a little more melodic and not so chord, chord, chord. Yeah. You know, not as just straight as it is. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is let's talk about improvising the left hand a little bit. Okay. One easy step to do that is just arpeggiating. The, the chord, the tonic chord in the left hand. So you can do that on the C, the tonic, the four, which is F, and the fifth, which is G. Okay? 
Okay. Okay. So let's just try that. And can you have that in any version you wanted if you were to arpeggiate the chord? Yeah, you can do that in, in any version. Yeah, you can do that in any version you want to. Um, sometimes it is best though to start out on the on the tonic because we do not have the tonic in the right hand okay. because of the way we've inverted it. All right. So um, let's just do let's just do the four bar C F G C the way we we're doing before. Okay. And we'll do we'll go back to the progression later. Okay. And one, two, three, four. together that's another step in making it just more improvisational more melodic okay another thing you can do on top of arpeggiating the chord is add in neighbor tones you know this this step the um, notes that is a half step away and get, when you go to the next chord so if we're doing C, now we're at F, to C. so you can use the half steps in the neighbor tones the um, arpeggiated chord, it sounds really cool. Yeah. So let's just do the same four measures and try that again. Okay. Ready? So, and one, two, three, four. Cool. All right. So now we're going to put this all together and then we're going to go back and um, we're going to hear you jazz up some rhythms, okay? Okay. So let's play the whole progression. Right. And one, two, three, four. on the in the right hand and leaving the left hand where it is adding everything that we've changed and all the stuff we've added into it you can just easily play with the rhythm in your right hand okay. so I'm gonna catch you off and let's hear you go back and try that a little bit okay. any way you want to all right um so in that sense you mean like I can play the same chord just yeah the same chord just eighth notes and yeah eighth notes possible. play with rhythm okay and that can be any way you want to okay. all right let's try it and one two three four And she did a great job. Thank you. And this is something you can, like I said earlier, teach to an elementary level piano student who has a basic concept of seventh chords, but it's also a very cool way to teach them seventh chords. Um, in any key, you can do this in any key, though we did C major. And it's a good way to show them how to jazz up the rhythm a little bit and uh, to improvise. And you can take this a step further with maybe, you know, also showing them how to um, improvise on top of that. So I hope you enjoy this. And